in this lecture we'll continue with our bio draw so we can come to view and from view we can see show bio draw toolbar so let's select that one so when we select bio draw toolbar we see this which is bio draw toolbar and we have stuff to play with like enzyme like ribosomes helix proteins and membrane so you can go in and just highlight each one of them and play around them so let's say we select memory we can always come in this is a missile let's tear it down and bring the memory toolbar and let's select a memory just a line and just draw it around so you can draw a memory you can move it around or rent it any way that you want so that is how you can draw a memory you can also come and change the length or change the height as well using it this way so that is basically how you draw memory and you can choose this is a line and you can choose an arc so you can draw it in an arc form which is also useful or you can have it in an ellipse form so you have it you know, circular or you can change how circular it looks and then this is missile which we already shown so you have missile so that is basically what you can do with your memory and it's very important which you can do with that so the next one will be our helix proteins so you can close the memory and head over to helix protein so with helix protein you can just hold your left mouse key and you can also move it around extend this as well so let's zoom in and do some customization so the first adjustment that you can do with a with this is to adjust the height so you can you see how the cursor is now a plus if you move it to this tip it changes and if you drag it up you can change or reduce the height as you need so that is something cool to note as well and the next one will be the width of the strand you can also adjust the width of the strand if you come down it changes as well and you can use it to change the width of the strand itself so this is highly small you have it much bigger in here now the next one is to also change the width of the cylinder so you can come to this side the tip of the cylinder and just drag it horizontally and it changes the width of the cylinder as well and finally you can also change the spacing in between the cylinders so when you come to the second side and just change and the spacing changes so yeah so that is how you also work with helix protein and let's zoom out of this so to have more workspace and there are so many other tools that you can play around let's say you can have enzyme from enzyme you can tear it down to have your enzyme toolbar and you can draw your enzymes as you need and as you desire oh okay you can also come into let's say receptor and tear it down and have your receptor toolbar you can draw them as you also need so this is something that i would just recommend if you need biological images or biological parts make sure to explore because chemdraw gives us that ability to do that as well so you can also change colors edit it as structures that we've already done so that will be all for this lesson